If your car's past 200,000 miles, there's a silent battle happening inside your engine right now. And the oil you're using could decide if it lives another 100,000 miles or dies next month. Here's the truth no mechanic wants to admit. Most oils, even the expensive ones, change chemistry after 200,000 miles of engine wear. The same oil that protected your car when it was new might now be accelerating wear, clogging lifters, and starving bearings. In fact, one independent test from the Automotive Research Institute ran identical engines, one at 50,000 miles, one at $220,000, with the same synthetic oil. The result? The high mileage engine ran 20 Thatu de Graaf hotter, produced 40% more sludge, and lost 7 PSI of oil pressure using the same oil. So what changed? Not the oil, the engine. And today, I'll show you the exact tests that reveal what's really happening to your oil after 200,000 miles. The signs your engine's begging for a change, and the secret blend that mechanics use to extend engine life past 300,000 miles. Stay to the end, because there's one counterintuitive trick that can make even an old high mileage engine run quieter and smoother than it did five years ago. Section one. All synthetic oils are the same. We've been told for years that synthetic is synthetic. As long as you use full synthetic, your engine's protected. Right? Wrong. Here's the part they don't tell you. When an engine crosses 200,000 miles, its internal tolerances widen, bearings loosen, valve seals harden, piston rings develop microgaps that leak combustion gases into the crankcase, a process called blow-by. Blow-by forces unburnt fuel, moisture, and carbon into your oil, contaminating it faster than before. This means the normal oil change intervals and viscosity recommendations are no longer ideal. A 0W20 oil that worked beautifully at 50,000 miles might now be too thin for the looser tolerances of an older engine. Result, oil pressure drops, protection weakens, and metal wear increases dramatically. That's why longtime mechanics often say, after 200K, the oil you use matters more than the oil you use before 100K. It's not marketing, it's physics. Section two, what actually happens to oil in a 200K plus engine? Let's break this down like a lab test. When oil circulates through a high mileage engine, here's what it faces. One, increased blow by contamination. Combustion gases sneak past worn piston rings, mixing with oil and oxidizing it faster. Two, Hotter oil temperatures. Carbon buildup acts as insulation inside cylinders, trapping heat. Three, shear breakdown. The long chain polymers that give oil its viscosity get shredded by high friction, especially in timing chains and hydraulic lifters. Four, sludge formation. Moisture and fuel residue combine with oxidized oil to form sticky deposits. Five, additive depletion. Anti-wear agents like zinc, ZDDP and detergents get consumed faster. According to Pennzoil's Engine Longevity Study 2023, oil in engines above 200K miles oxidizes 30 to 50% faster, even when mileage intervals are the same. That's why fresh oil often darkens quickly after a change, not because it's bad oil, but because it's fighting old engine chemistry. So what's the fix? You adapt the oil, not the engine. Section three, high mileage oils and why they actually work. You've probably seen high mileage printed on oil bottles and thought marketing gimmick, but this time it's actually backed by science. High mileage oils aren't just thicker, they're chemically engineered for worn engines. Here's what sets them apart. Seal conditioners, restore elasticity to hardened valve seals and gaskets, reducing oil leaks and consumption, enhanced detergent packages, clean carbon and varnish deposits that block oil passages, extra anti-wear additives, zinc, ZDDP, and phosphorus compounds coat metal surfaces to prevent friction welding, slightly higher viscosity, improves pressure and lubrication in looser engine clearances. Tests from Mobile One, Extended Life and Castrol GTX High Mileage found that high mileage formulations reduced oil consumption by 42% and increased compression in older engines compared to standard synthetics. So yes, there's a reason your mechanic switches to high mileage blends after 150K. It's not about profit. It's about chemistry catching up to wear. Section four, real world test. 50 engines over 200,000 miles. Let's look at the most comprehensive test ever done. The 200K oil study from Automotive Research Labs, 2022. They ran 50 used engines from Toyota. 
Honda, Ford, Chevy, and BMW, all with over 200,000 miles. Each engine was filled with a different oil type and run for 500 hours under load. Here's what they found. Engines using high mileage synthetic blends like Castrol Edge HM and Mobile One High Mileage showed up to 40% less wear in the camshaft lobes and piston rings. Meanwhile, engines still running thin factory grade Zuabu 20 oil suffered from lower compression and varnish deposits. Section 5. Why thicker isn't always better. The 5W30 versus 10W40 trap. A lot of drivers think, my car is old. I'll just use thicker oil to stop burning, but that can backfire. Here's why. While a thicker oil, like 10W40, increases oil pressure, it also reduces flow, especially during cold starts. That means slower lubrication for vital parts like camshafts, bearings, and turbos. A cold start is where 80% of engine wear happens. So yes, 10W40 might stop the smoke, but it might also starve your top end for those first few seconds. The smarter move is using slightly thicker but high-quality synthetics. For example, switching from ZOW20 to 5W30, or from 5W30 to 5W40, depending on climate. According to Valvoline's internal testing, that small change can reduce startup wear by 35% while still maintaining high temperature stability. Section 6. The Oil Additive Debate and What Actually Works Let's address the elephant in the garage, oil additives. Some claim they can restore compression or extend oil life 10x. Others call them snake oil. The truth, both sides are half right. Certain additives, like molybdenum disulfide, MOS2, or boron compounds, actually work. They bond to metal surfaces and create a micro-coating that reduces friction and heat. But others, especially stop leak or friction eliminator bottles from gas stations, can clog tiny oil passages or thicken oil excessively. A 2023 Napa Labs analysis found that 70% of off-brand additives contained harmful solids that settled in oil pans and filters. The only proven lab-verified additives worth considering are Liqui Moly Mo S2 reduces wear and quiets ticking lifters. Arcoil AR9100, great for high mileage engines, especially diesels. BG MOA, used in professional shops, replenishes lost zinc and detergents. When used with quality oil, they can extend protection between changes, especially in older engines that see hard use. But remember, additives should enhance oil, not replace maintenance. If your oil's already black and thick, no bottle can save it. Section 7. What Mechanics Notice at 200,000 Plus Miles. Ask any veteran mechanic what they see in engines past 200k miles, and they'll tell you the same pattern. Worn timing chain guides caused by poor lubrication. Clogged oil pickup screens from sludge and sealant debris. Low compression in one or two cylinders from carbon sealed rings. Noisy hydraulic lifters due to varnish buildup. But here's the good news. They'll also tell you the engines that still run smooth past 250,000 miles. They all share the same habits. Regular oil changes every 5,000 miles, not 10,000 plus. Quality filters like Wix or Mobile One. Slightly thicker high mileage oil. No skipped maintenance intervals. It's not luck. It's chemistry and consistency. Section 8. The Three Signs. Your oil is lying to you. Most drivers think if their oil looks clean and the dipstick reads full, everything's fine. But that's a dangerous illusion. Here are the three silent signs your oil isn't doing its job, even if it looks normal. 1. Quieter than normal. The false calm. If your engine suddenly runs quieter right after an oil change, but starts ticking again within 500 miles, that's not normal. It's a sign your oil's losing its anti-wear additives fast. High mileage oils stay consistent longer. That's why older engines sound smoother for thousands of miles, not hundreds. 2. Pressure drop at idle. If your oil pressure light flickers when the engine's hot, it's not the sensor. It's viscosity breakdown. Thin oil can't maintain pressure through worn bearings. Switching from ZOW20 to 5W30 or 5W40 often restores stable pressure instantly. 3. Fuel smell or sticky dipstick. If you pull the dipstick and it feels tacky or smells like gasoline, that's fuel dilution, blow by gases mixing with your oil. This happens constantly in high mileage engines. The fix, 
shorter oil change intervals every 3,000, 4,000 miles, and better detergent packs. So next time you check your dipstick, don't just look, feel, and smell it. Your nose can tell you more about your engine than a warning light ever will. Section 9. The 200K Oil Upgrade Formula Mechanic-Backed Recipe When your engine crosses 200,000 miles, you don't need magic potions. You need a smart, science-based formula that adapts to wear. Here's the four-step system veteran mechanics and rebuilders use to keep old engines running like new. Step 1. Switch to a high-mileage synthetic, 5W30 or 5W40. Stick with trusted brands like Mobile One High Mileage, Castrol Edge HM, or Valvoline Max Life. They contain seal conditioners and fortified detergents that combat blow-by and leaks. Step 2. Add a friction modifier. Every other change. Use a molybdenum or boron-based additive like Liqui Moly MoS2 or BGMOA. These coat metal surfaces reducing wear by up to 50% in hot running conditions. Step 3. Replace oil filter every time. No exceptions. Use high-efficiency filters like Wix XP, Mobile One, or Bosch Premium. Avoid quick lube cheap filters. They have half the filtration capacity and collapse under pressure. Step 4. Flush every 30,000 miles safely. Use a gentle engine flush, not solvent-based. Brands like Liqui Moly Proline Flush or BGEPR dissolve varnish without stripping lubrication. This four-step method has been used by high-mileage car enthusiasts for decades and it's backed by data from Car Care Council International showing a 32% longer average engine life among drivers following these steps. Section 10. The Psychology of Engine Care Why Most People Fail After 200K Here's the truth. Most engines don't die because of mechanical failure. They die because their owners stop caring once the odometer hits a big number. It's psychological. We assume old car angst disposable. But to an engine, mileage is just a number. What really matters is maintenance consistency. You can have two identical cars, one with 300,000 miles that still idles like silk, and another at 120,000 with a rod knock. The difference? The 300K owner treated every oil change like a doctor's checkup. And here's the irony. Maintaining a high mileage car properly often costs less than constantly fixing problems caused by neglect. So ask yourself, would you rather spend $50 every few months or $3,000 on a new engine because the oil was wrong? That's the mental shift that separates people who drive cars from those who keep them alive. Section 11. Climate and driving conditions matter. More after 200K. At 200K+, plus, your car's environment plays a huge role in oil performance. If you live in hot, yet dry areas like Arizona or Texas, Go with 5W40 or 10W30 high mileage oil. Thicker oil handles heat and evaporation better. In cold northern states, stick to 0W30 or 5W30 for easier cold starts and proper flow. For towing or city stop and go driving, change oil every 3,000, 4,000 miles, not 7,500. Heat cycles destroy oil faster in those conditions. Every automaker Vinam, from Toyota to GM agrees. Oil change intervals must be adjusted for severe duty. Guess what? Every 200K plus engine is severe duty. That's why the smartest car owners tailor their oil to their environment, not a sticker on the windshield. Section 12. The Forgotten Factor. PCV system and oil life. Even if you use perfect oil, there's one small $15 part that can ruin it fast the PCV valve. The positive crankcase ventilation system pulls pressure and vapors out of the engine. When it's clogged, moisture and fuel vapors build up inside, contaminating oil rapidly. A bad PCV valve can reduce oil life by half and increase sludge by up to 60%, according to Nissan's powertrain research division. Mechanics check this on every high mileage engine they service, but DIYers almost never do. If your oil darkens too fast, or if you notice oil leaks around valve covers, check that PCV valve first. It's the cheapest oil protector you can buy. Section 13, the final truth, and why this matters more than ever. Here's what decades of lab tests, mechanic experience, and driver data all prove. Oil isn't just oil anymore. After 200,000 miles, it's the lifeblood of an aging system that depends on every molecule working harder than ever. Modern synthetic oils are powerful, but only when matched to your engine's condition. 
The wrong viscosity or neglected fluid schedule can undo years of reliability in weeks. High mileage oils aren't gimmicks, they're engineered survival kits. They clean, seal, and protect engines that newer blends can't handle. So the next time you're standing in the oil aisle wondering if that $10 difference matters, it does. Because what's really at stake isn't the oil, it's your car's heartbeat. Now that you know what really happens to oil after 200,000 miles, let's see who's running the highest mileage car in the comments.